Hello students, today we are going to deal with the topic cinema or films. India is the leader in film production. Indian cinema has yielded 28,000 feature films and thousands of documentaries so far. The first exposing of celluloid in camera by an Indian and its consequent screening took place in 1899. When Harish Chandra Bhattwadekar, popularly known as Save Dada, shot two short films and exhibited them under Edison's projecting kinetoscope. Govind Phalke, more generally known as Dada Saheb Phalke, and also the father of Indian cinema was responsible for the production of India's first fully indigenous silent feature film, Raja Harishchandra, which heralded the birth of the Indian film industry. The film had titles in Hindi and English and was released on May 3rd, 1913 at the Coronation Cinema in Bombay. In 1917, Bengal saw the birth of its first feature film. In Madras, the first feature film of uh, South India, Kichaka Vadham, was made by Nataraja Mudalayar in 1919. After stepping into 1920, the Indian cinema gradually assumed the shape of a regular industry. The industry also came within the purview of the law. The first Indian talkie, Alamara, produced by the Imperial Film Company, and directed by Adair Sher Indiani, released on March 14, 1931 at Majestic Cinema in Bombay. The Taki had brought revolutionary changes in the whole setup of the industries. The first International Film Festival of India was held in early 1952 at Bombay and had a great impact on Indian cinema. The big turning point came in 1955 with the release of Sachajitre and his classic Padhir Panchali. In Hindi cinema too, the impact of neorealism was evident in some distinguished films like Bimal Roy's Do Bhiga Jameen, Devdas, Madhumati, Raj Kapoor's Boot Polish, Shri 420, and Jagte Reho, Mehboob's Mother India, and so on. In 1953, the first color feature, Jhansi Ki Rani, was made. Mother India in 1957, Ganga Jumna in 1961, Sangam 64, Bobby 73, Shole 75 have been some of the successful films at the box office and trendsetters in the commercial cinema. In 60s, mediocre films were made mostly to please the distributors and to some extent meet the demands of the box office such as Mughalism, Guide, Sahib Bibi or Gulam, Radhana, etc. Satyajitre, Ritwik Ghatak and Mrinal Sen were the founder fathers of the new cinema in India. Roy was fortunate enough to present his films in almost all the leading film festivals of the world. The national and international awards won by Roy are numerous. In 70s, the trend for new wave cinema started in India with the release of Mrinal Sen's Bhuvan Shom in 1969. This boosted the production of small budget films with simple plots but rich in resonance. It was followed by Sara Akash, Rajni Gandha, Choti Si Baat, Chichor, Swami, Ardh, the new wave cinema movement continued with full spirit in 70s and 80s also. Some of the good movies like Mandhan, Bhumika, Junoon, 36 Chauringi Lane, Mirch Masala, Trishagni were produced during this period. 90s saw the revival of the music love stories in Hindi cinema such as Khaya Mat Se Khaya Mat Tak, Chandni, Hum Aapke Hai Kaun, etc so on and so forth. In 20th century, Indian cinema along with the Hollywood and Chinese film industries became a global enterprise. Enhanced technology paved the way for upgrading from established cinematic norms of delivering product, altering the manner in which the content reached to the target audience. Visual effects based 
superhero science fiction, the epic films like Bahubali, Enthiran and Raw One have emerged as blockbusters and also Indian cinema found markets in over 90 countries where films from India are screened. Coming to the purpose and types of films, film is a story or event recorded by a camera as a set of moving images and shown in a cinema or on television. Cinema and films are used interchangeably, but there is a difference between these two terms. Cinema is a theater where films are shown for public entertainment. Cinema has specific means to create imaginary time and space and Utilization of these means defines how cinematic a film is in a theater where films are shown for the public entertainment. But films means the particular movies that we see with all the elements they contain and cinema means the sum of the means made possible only by the film technology which distinguish cinema from the other arts. The term movies is also used for the films when attempt is to provide enjoyment and relaxation. Regarding the types of cinema, when we talk, there are two major forms. First one is commercial cinema. It primarily aims at providing entertainment to the people. It mostly resorts to fantasy to provide entertainment to people. For example, films like Vakt, Shole, Mukaddar Ka Sikandar, Hum Aapke Hai Kaun are a few examples. Coming to the next one, art cinema. It is with more realistic and relevant to the needs of the people and society. It is called parallel cinema or alternative cinema or new wave cinema. These new trend films are made at low cost outside the mainstream of commercial cinema. National Films Development Corporation provided institutional aid for the production of these films. Sachajit Ray, Sham Benigal, Mrinal Sen are some of the known art cinema proponents. However, many times this cinema faced difficulties in getting financier or distributor. Many of them remain at award winning level only and never reach the masses due to these difficulties. With the popularity of television, some of the such films are telecast on television also. For example, Chakra, Ankur, Nishant, Adhasatya, Damul, Par, Hazar, Chaurasi, Kama, etc. Nowadays, cinemas are broadly classified into four major types also. First and foremost is feature films. Feature film means fictionalized film exceeding 2000 meters in length in 35 mm or corresponding length in other gauge or on video. Feature film means a full length cinematograph film produced wholly or partly in India with a format and a story woven around the number of characters where the plot is revealed mainly through dialogue and not only through narration, animation or cartoon depiction and does not include an advertisement in the film. They are about a story enacted by a popular cast and usually has an ending. These are produced for mass information and entertainment. These films have the elements like comedy, drama, suspense, science fiction, detective and horror elements. They create cultural waves and to a certain degree change the attitude of the viewers also and increase information and modifying the behavior of the public. The main objective of these films is not so much to convey a moral but firstly to entertain the audience. They continue to be most popular form of entertainment. The next type of uh, films are documentary cinema. Documentary is nothing but the dramatization of an idea or a theme and it uses the factual material in order to dramatize its idea, tells its simple story in terms of human beings and so human interests. Sometimes it uses professional actors in some scenes. Off late documentaries also have acquired a reputation for artistic merit. They last longer than feature films. 
due to their informative and educative nature. The next type is sponsored cinema. Many commercial organizations produce films as part of a broad advertising and public relations program on their products, achievements and also approaches to their production etc. This is to attract the consumer, financiers and excellent professionals as well as to compete in fast advancing marketing system. The next type is educational cinema. These films are produced with instructional objectives. For example, films on details of geography or history, moon, atmosphere, non-formal education in slums, ideal schools or so on and so forth. These films can be used as part of main lesson or supplementary information also. Some of the documentaries also can be used as educational films. In India, education films have not been used widely. So, let us see what the advantages of the films are. As a mass medium, they have similar advantages as television as far as motion and manipulation of time are concerned. Motion is essential for comprehending certain concepts and messages. For example, science experiments, operation of machines or industrial plants can be shown effectively with motion. Both the media show few hours long events in few minutes. And the next advantage is the impact. The impact left by the films helps in shaping personal and social attitudes. They present the situation in a dramatic recreation form which brings reality also and assures the involvement of the viewer and leaves emotional impact. Next advantage is it is a versatile medium. It lends itself to instructional use in both large and small groups and for individual study also. Technically, films allow a wide range of colors than video. Furthermore, the actors vary more in terms of hue and portray a greater range of contrast than television. This holds viewers' attention better than the video or television. Films provide for viewing of phenomena at extremely close range or from a vast distance which is not possible in television and they can be used for variety of purposes such as entertainment and education, persuasion, changing motivation and opinions. The message conveyed through films are retained better due to its reality element. They allow for a creative production approach. It is possible to make different language and cultural versions of a film. Coming to the limitations, the main limitation of the films is fixed pace. They move at a fixed pace and some viewers are likely to fall behind if they are unable to keep pace with the pace of the film. Next limitation is dramatization. Since films are mostly the dramatized presentation, they are chances of sophisticated treatment of exaggerated version of a situation or issue. For example, if an adolescent has seen a film with generation gap theme, it is likely that he will take this melodrama in a literary sense and feel that he is also having to face many problems due to the generation gap in his relationship with his parents and teachers. Next limitation is regarding the limits. It is very difficult to define the limits of what is controversial in films. For example, the film Andhi was banned during the emergency period in India and it was labeled as controversial film. When released, people did not find anything controversial or objectionable in the film. The commercial films are made with the audience's preference in mind, but there is hardly any feedback mechanism. They are also costly and require huge amount of finances. They require highly sophisticated equipment for production as well as projection. Each film requires individual distribution of network which requires investment of large amount of money and time also. Also the film production requires trained personnel such as director, photographer, sound effects expert, musician, editor etc. 
Once the film production is complete, it is very expensive to make any changes in the film. So let us see what are the principles in writing for an educational film. Films have been popular mass medium with the technological advancement in film uh, and film production as a field has become very competitive and challenging also. So film production or film making or in an academic context it is usually called film production is a process of making a film involves a number of discrete changes including an initial story, idea or commission through script writing, casting, shooting, sound recording and reproduction, editing and screening the finished product before an audience that may result in a film release and exhibition also. Film production offers mainly five careers. The first and foremost is cinematography. This is a technical job which requires creativity and imagination to make a time with best photographic effects. Director explains the cinematographer about the type of shot he or she wants and then he has to work out the details of the types of shots, angles, etc. Next one is film direction. Film director controls a film's artistic and dramatic aspects and visualizes the script while guiding the technical crew and actors in the fulfillment of that vision. Directors are responsible for the treatment of films. They have to know about every aspect of the film production. They are required to guide actors and technicians so as to produce a film of vision. Next one is very importantly the sound recording and sound engineering. This is also a technical job which is required to insert sound effects according to the mood and theme of the film. Next one is film editing. This involves assembling and cutting the finished film in order to create a film with proper sequencing and organization which gives meaning to the film and highlights the theme. It is done with the help of editing machine in the editing room. There is art direction also where other aspects which include the direction of sets, choreography, costume designing etc. will be dealt and that also is a very important career. There are five major stages in film production. The first one is development, the first stage in which the ideas for the films are created, rights to books, plays are bought etc. and the screenplay is written. Financing for the project has to be sought in this stage itself and greenlit. Next one is pre-production. Preparations are made for the shoot in which cast and film crew are hired, locations are selected and sets are built. And the next stage is production. The raw elements for the films are recorded during the film shoot. And the next stage is post-production where images, sound, and visual effects of the recorded film are edited. The last stage is distribution where the finished film is distributed and screened in cinemas and released to home videos also. A short film is any film not long enough to be considered as a feature film. No consensus exists as to where the boundary is drawn. But a short film is an original motion picture that has a running time of 40 minutes or less including all credits. So let us see the steps in making a short film. The first and foremost is the script. Here it is crucial to remember that a film is a visual medium. You don't tell your audience your story, you show them. So writing what they will see and what they will hear is nothing but a script. When it happens it may be just done with a look often improvised on the movie set. So script should be written with the pictures, sounds, speeches and leave the rest for the filmmakers. The script format for documentaries and audiovisual presentations which consists largely of voice over matched to still or moving pictures is different again and uses 
two column format which can be particularly difficult to achieve in standard word processors at least when it comes to editing or rewriting. Many script editing software programs include templates for documentary formats involving focusing on story, dialogue, formatting, character, plot, theme, momentum and the document. And the next one is the support. Emphasis should be given also to focus on the filmmaking team, that is the producer, director, cast, crew and their roles and responsibilities. Coming to the storyboard aspect, it is a graphic organizer in the form of illustrations or images displayed in sequence for the purpose of pre-visualizing a motion picture, animation, motion graphic or interactive media sequence. A film storyboard is essentially some section of the film produced beforehand to help film focusing on how to turn the script into a series of pictures and images able to be filmed. Storyboards for films are created in a multiple step process. They can be created by hand drawing or digitally on a computer also. The main characteristics of any storyboard are visualize the storytelling, focus the story and the timing in several keyframes which are very important in animation and define the technical parameters that is the description of the motion, the camera, the lighting etc. Then coming to the steps in storyboarding, if drawing by hand the first step is to create or download a storyboard template. These look much like a blank comic strip with space of, for comments and dialogue. Then sketch a thumbnail storyboard. Some directors sketch thumbnails directly in the script margins. The common storyboard software for desktop are Articulate Storyline, Twine, Celtics. And coming to the structure, focusing on structuring and synchronizing all aspects of the film before it is shot such as the design, locations, makeup, hair, catering uh, and any specific requirements of the film are to be taken care of also in the structural aspects. Then next comes the shooting. In film making and video production a shot is nothing but a series of frames that runs for a uninterrupted period of time. These film shots are an essential aspect of a movie where angles, transitions and cuts are used to further express emotion, ideas and movement. This term shot can refer to two different parts of film making process focusing on the shoot itself and things to consider and be aware of. Focusing on the post production stage including the editing music, sound effects and pickup shots is also required for the sake of shape. Coming to the screen, focusing on putting your film in front of an audience and using it as a calling card to get into the industry is also very important. So finally, what makes a good idea for a film? Firstly, drama is about a conflict. So good ideas for short films are those that can sustain conflict throughout. The conflict might keep an audience interested for the length of a short film. Films are about a central dramatic question. Central dramatic questions are always in terms of your main character and must last the entire film. As soon as the question is answered, the film is often over. A good way to start is by choosing a subject you are interested in or an experience you have had. Try the following steps to get you thinking. Write down your interests or passions in any order. Group your interests together to find a pattern or link between them. Select the thing or subject you are most passionate about and consider something you want to express on that idea. For example, a thought or a message or an opinion you want to convey to a reader or an audience. Write some possible thoughts for messages or opinions underneath the actual subject or area of interest like that. So I just put forth some examples about some ideas that to get you started. A holiday you have seen or you have been on. The message can be there is no place like home. A childhood memory. Sometimes one must let go of 
the past to move on. Like this, a screenplay or a script is a blueprint for creating a motion image. It can be modified from a previous work. For example, from a short story, play, novel, or it could be from an original work in and of itself. Most screenplays are anticipated to be written in 12 point font size, devoid of bolding or italicizing. This section depicts the elements used to develop a screenplay. The basic script uh, formatting has three bodies of a script. That is the headlines, a narrative, dialogues. Each of these has three points to remember. The headlines contain master headlines which include camera location, exterior that is EXT, interior or in inside INT. And then scene location that is the local racetrack, time, day or night. Then the secondary scene heading will also be there. Special headings will be there for things such as montages, that is the technique of selecting, editing and piecing together separate sections of film to form a continuous whole with dream sequences, flashbacks, flash forwards, etc. Here in this special headings, you also will be having narrative descriptions also like action, character and settings such as visual settings and sounds. Coming to the dialogue, the name of the person speaking appears at the top, that is in caps. The actor's direction, parenthetical or Riley, try to avoid these as much as possible. Both the director and actor will appreciate it. Next is the speech. The steps in this dialogue is nothing but the, there will be a title page. Since a title page is the first indication to a producer that you are either professional or an amateur. So make sure that your screenplay is quite gripping type. Title should be highlighted either by underline or by quotation marks. In the bottom of it, put contact information or any copyright information. There will be also transitions. These are short descriptions illustrating how the film will move from one scene to the next. The only time to employ transitions, if it is vital to tell a story, you can make use of it. For example, you can use time cut to specify the passage of time, dissolve to indicate that time has passed. You can make use of match cut if you want to demonstrate that there is some association between something we just view and something in the new scene. And there are scene headings also, which are also called slug lines, which mark out the commencement of a new scene in a screenplay. If the scene is exterior, it begins with EXT, and if the scene takes place indoor, then INT. When pursuing this descriptor, the name of the location of the scene should be materialized in caps. This is then followed by a space, a hyphen, another space and then the time of the day. Scene headings should have a margin of 1.5 inches from the left, 1 inch from the right. And there should also be page breaks. When the paragraph of action or dialogue is split up across the pages, the break is supposed to come among the sentences and not previous to the second line of the paragraph. Next comes the action. It represents what can be observed on the screen and is always in the present tense. Then dialogue is in screen writing. Wherever or whenever a character verbalizes, it is nothing but a dialogue. Even if it is a monologue also, it should be mentioned. And then coming to the parenthetical, it is used as an ongoing notation. If the same character keeps on speaking, this notation can be used. It should be short, eloquent, to the point and used only when it is extremely required. With this, I conclude the topic films. Any questions? Ma'am, I am Sunita. One clarification. Is Indian cinema in a position to compete with global cinema? Yes, definitely. 
We also have the competent uh, authority and also advanced technologies in India to compete with the global cinema and we are also part of the global cinema in the global competition also. So we need not worry and there are so many institutes, institutes and organizations that are also teaching about all this film production aspects and techniques. Thank you.